Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 back from Vegas, back from Evo. I didn't do that well, in case you're wondering. I went 0 2 in the Skullgirls tournament, and then entered a Melty Blood tournament, and I went 0 2. In pools! Yeah, anyway, I haven't played Melty Blood in a couple years, and I haven't played Skullgirls for more than six months, so. I mean, I have played it only for six months. So I'm not surprised. It was fun, though. And now I'm back, so back to. Regular casting schedule, starting with a game between Cybernetic Pony and Monkuki on Imperium. We have Cybernetic Pony in the southwest corner of the map, and in case you're wondering, this thing is fixed next version. I don't know why it happened now, but it has been fixed next version, so just ignore that. Anyway, Monkuki is in the southwest corner of the map, while Cybernetic Pony, sorry, Monkuki is in the south, yeah, that's right, southwest. Cybernetic Pony is in the northeast corner of the map, and, sorry, we're not on Imperium, we're on Onyx Canyon, my mistake. I apologize, I'm a little bit tired right now, because of Evo. Yeah, it, there was lots of stuff going on. Lots of socialization, really fun. Anyway, Monkey is setting up nothing out of the ordinary yet. Actually, I should say, it is out of the ordinary for him. Normally, he'd be going for a massive infantry rush, but not today. Oh no, why? What am I saying? That's Cybernetic Pony. Monkey, he's going CISO. That is unusual. Wow, okay, that's Monkey's off racing today. Not doing anything unusual with his strategy, though. Still sending all of his infantry out at the start. Probably going to go for a proxy, as he normally does. But, yeah, not Vekir. How about that? He's not going Vekir today. Not in this game, anyway. And Cybernetic Pony moving out. Just scouting out. See what's going on. Nothing too special so far. Getting his economy going. That's six LCRPs. So we're going to probably see Cybernetic Pony go for fairly standard mid-late game strategy. While Monkey, on the other hand, going for... Well, like I said, a rush, at least in this iteration. So Monkuki is going in for... Okay, I'll speed this up a bit. <laughs> Just scouting going on right now. No one, neither player really knows what the other one's up to. Quite yet. I mean, this map is very long. It's rather difficult to scout on. Very difficult to scout on, actually. By, I mean, it's three minutes now that finally we've got units in. Normally, it takes only about two minutes or so. Yeah, Monkey does now see Cybernetic Pony and is knowing he's going back here. Will he go for a proxy? That's what we want to see. If Monkey goes for a proxy, that would be really what I'd expect. But no, looks like he's going for straight up attack onto, oh, onto the main base. Zion Pulsar already in place, and Cybernetic Pony will probably try to go and fight with that, which will actually have no problems since the infantry are not attacking the Zion Pulsars. Well, of course, Monkuki now has jumped back to the 21 second mark and will probably be sending one of his marines back just to keep it alive and keep his economy going, while Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, stays in his base and builds up more units. Building these nine pulses, keeping them going because there's no reason for n not to. And. There's really not much to say about that. We do have actually a Zion Pulse. Okay, the Zion Veer becoming a Zion Pulser as well. So three Zion Pulsers coming for Saturday Pony at the 420 mark. This is actually a little unusual, but not terribly. We do have another foundation for Aerial Control Center, which will be coming up shortly. But yeah, the three Zion Pulsers getting skip teleport will be jumping into Monkuki's base any minute now. Monkuki, on the other hand, has switched up. He has gone for economy. At this point, he is behind Saturday Pony but not by too much. And in case you're wondering about the pronouns that I'm using compared to 0K, I know what more of the actual genders of the players of Akron are, so I don't worry quite so much about that. I know that Saturday Pony and Monkey are both male, so I'm going to use he because I know. I didn't know I would use they. Not the case. Because I use it for 0K since I don't necessarily know the genders of as many players. Strictly speaking, I don't know what they are for the people who play Akron as well, but from what I've gathered, from what they've said, it's that's what I know. Anyway, back to the game itself. Aero Control Center being built up. The 523 mark a little bit earlier than usual. And these Zion Pulsers look like they're being used for defense. I'm thinking Cyber Point is going to actually attack with them as their skip teleport upgrade falls further and further closer to the unplayable past edge. That is typical. Monkuki, on the other hand, very near the unplayable past edge, going for what looks like a quick expansion over the northwest, or at least double checking to make sure Cybernetic Pony is not expanding to his natural. Though on this map, it's really hard to get two ones natural. I mean, Monkuki might even just kill Cybernetic Pony's resource crates. I mean, he might just 
do what Cybernetic Pony is himself very fond of doing. Actually, Cybernetic Pony has... Well, okay, this is completely unreliable because Cybernetic Pony was attacking, but that is a point in time which has been changed. I mean, this is for the future of 4-Minute Mark, but the green time of coming along and removing this Cybernetic Pony not actually going to attack with that because instead, the Zion Pulsars are built. And they are using instead while Cybernetic Pony moves over to the... Well, he's going to build a foundation over here. He has a Teth Pulsar... Yeah, Teth and Shin Veer sent over here to the Northwest Natural Expansion. While Mon Kuki at the southwest side of the map has his factory up. A couple of QPRPs, probably going to be building up a couple ATHCs, though admittedly, Mon Kuki is... No, oh, he's on par with 780 Pony. Okay. 323 mark, he is on par. 6 and 2. With a factory that's not building anything yet, surprisingly enough, Mon Kuki has enough resources to do that. Might be waiting for another RP. Probably going to go for 6 and 4 before building up a lot of units. We'll see. And yes, Mon Kuki is in fact destroying the Q Plasma container and... Look at Crystal as well, but Q-Plasma is one container for a single type of resource, so it's easier to destroy and deny your opponent a whole type of resource from the expansion. Especially since this map does not have a lot of Q-Plasma on it. It is extremely precious on this map. Destroying that crate is huge because there's only... Wow, there's only eight crates of Q-Plasma in total on the map. I never actually noticed that before, but yeah, that is not very much at all. That... Eight crates of Q-Plasma is about, for each one with 100, that 6400 Q-Plasma for the entire game for both players over the course of the in, uh, probably 20 minutes if you're building up RPs around the entire thing. That is really small. Like, that is about, I think, a third as much as they're normally, half, half to a third as much as there normally is in this game, on this map, on most maps. I, don't, I just never noticed that before. And Cybernetic Pony setting up a comm hub but it is getting detected. It does have cloak when it's full. It's fully finished, but the special ops can detect it. However, it's not going to bother. And Cybernetic Pony actually somehow saved. The, oh, I see. With design, Pulsar saved the Q Plasma crates from their destruction, or Q Plasma crate from its destruction, and will be continuing along. Cybernetic Pony just now getting Q skip teleport. This is when he got it the last time. He's going to get aerial control center once again. This is the 513 mark, like second or third iteration. This is the last time we saw it. And at this stage as well, Monkuki is building up mechs, going straight for Macrofab, not even bothering with building ATHC, it's just going straight for Macrofab. And also going over here to expand himself, while Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, is not expanding yet. Cybernetic Pony has just built up else another Shin uh, no, hasn't built up any new Veer. No new Zion Veer. And that's very surprising, I just don't understand. Couple Lancers are coming in, however, Monkey was in fact building Lancers, which are the perfect counter design pulsers, so that's exactly what we want to do. And the comm up, despite being cloaked, is still visible to Lancers? Where are the detectors around here? Lancers can't... Lancers can detect? It's news to me. I mean, admittedly, this... Yeah, this is cloaked. It's a bit hard to tell, but it is cloaked. I didn't realize Lancers could detect. That's actually kind of surprising. I'm... I'm genuinely curious about this. I, I don't quite know. I have to double check because it doesn't say in the description that they can detect. This is a shock to me. I know, to me, of all people. I That... something's... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks like... Monkuki... No, 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 maybe not. Okay, maybe Monkuki can't actually see that. Alright, never mind. So, Lancers are, however, taking care of the crates. That is the important thing. Anywhere from one of the LC crates. And a Teth Turcher coming in to get rid of that. More Teth Turchers as well. What is being built up for Seven Pony? Just a couple Teth Turchers and nothing more quite yet. Just this one. Okay, the one Depot. Rather empty, but the Aerox Center doing some work. And Seven Pony now looks like he's saving up money for Chronoporting. Confident that he has enough units to use Chronoporting with effectively. While Monkuki, on the other hand, building up armory, getting Gate Tech of his own. At the 638 mark, wow, that is really early gate tech. Cybernetic Pony has nowhere near that much to gate tech. Though at the same time, Monkuki. Well, actually, Monkuki hasn't built that many units. That's basically the thing. Does have this armory here, which is the gate tech armory. No armory in the main base. Getting ATHCs and Lancers, but honestly, this is really risky. Monkuki doesn't have the army to really support gate tech at this stage. And the armory actually itself getting under attack. 
This is after Gate Tick is complete, however, Monkuki has already gotten what he wants. Now, if he's using it for pure teleportation, that will work just fine, but if he's using it for chronoporting, he doesn't have the Q-Plasma, he doesn't really have the units to make it work. So I'm not sure how, what he'd be planning to do with that. Unless he's trying to go for the CISO Permaclone, which we saw last time I casted a game of Acron, which is a couple weeks ago now. But yeah, the CISO Permaclone, really trivial. If you perma Basically, if you chronoport from the unplayable past and attack the chronoporter, it's a Permaclone. It's trivially a Permaclone. But that may not even come to pass. Summer Night Pony is getting rid of Monkey's expansion very near the Unplayable Past Edge. At the Unplayable Past Edge, actually. This is doomed. This entire expansion is doomed. And Summer Night Pony, being Summer Night Pony, has most likely started to attack the crates afterwards. Well, he's ordered the crates destroyed once done with the resource processors. Which won't take long at all. So Monkey is falling behind here. And Summer Night Pony just needs to start building up. You know, it's getting Shin Turtles as well. No gate tech of his own, but still does have the Shin Turtles coming in. Does have well this armory doesn't really matter anymore. Gate tech has already been researched. So that armory is useful only because it is imagery producing. But Monku could build another one if he wants to. And getting a Corona Porter up. Nine minute mark Corona Porter. Or well, nine minute mark Corona Porter being nearly completed. It'll be the ten minute mark before the Corona Porter is actually useful, which means that seven minute mark is when units will hit. So around here when Gate Tech was being researched. Which is coincidentally about a minute prior to when all these RPs started getting damaged. So if Monkuki manages to send a couple Lancers back to get rid of the Zion Pulsers, it could very well work, though admittedly the Zion Veer will still be a problem there. However, I'm pretty sure this is what Monkuki is planning on doing. We'll see him probably Corner Port back these four units, which he can afford, by the way. Corner Port back these four units, and then tell them to go over here and destroy these Zion Pulsers before they actually destroy the resource crates, although admittedly it's going to be very close. And now, now is, he has to do it now, and why is Monkuki not doing this? He needs to do this immediately. He's taking way too long to do this. I'm really not sure what he's waiting for. He hasn't spent the chrono energy on it, and, okay, there we go. Sending the ADHDs back, and no, going for a counterattack. Okay, trying to save the armory and not the resource processors. Not quite sure what the motivation is there. Another armory in the southeast corner getting hit by Cybernetic Pony. I think Cybernetic Pony has this game. Cybernetic Pony... Has control over this expansion and has not quite taken advantage of it, but could very easily if he wanted to. Has taken control of the south, the center east expansion, pretty much taking control of the northeast or the center west expansion, and now just assaulting Monkey's base. Despite Monkey having chronoporting, not much can really be done. Even though the chronoporting arrival has happened and no permacloning has happened, Cybernetic Pony has nothing to worry about here. Monkey doesn't have the forces to make chronoporting work. I was worried about this. I was, like I said. I wasn't sure Monkey could actually pull that off, and you no, know, he's not built enough units. Didn't have enough unit production structures. Didn't have enough units. I think it's kind of Vecchio habit here. Only had one factory. Probably could have had more. Well, no, probably he could have had more. I only, I'm only hedging myself slightly because of the fact that there's so few resources on this map. But even with so few resources, two factories would still have been viable. Especially going for ATHCs primarily, because ATHCs are dirt cheap for Q plasma, like 16 Q plasma each. Not a big problem. But that is not the case. And it looks like Cybernetic Pony probably has this game. I think Cybernetic Pony is probably just going to keep teching up a bit. Not quite sure if he's won. Oh, the Cybernetic Pony getting gate tech of his own. Yeah, so that's exactly right. That's exactly what he is doing. Getting gate tech of his own just in case. Not that it's really going to matter, though, because Monkey has lost that Chrono Porter. And Monkey back at his point of view. 10 10 mark. He has this ATC Chrono Porter back, which is. Damaging the Shin Turcher, but not dealing with it. In fact, the Shin Turcher does survive ultimately. Both Shin Turchers survive, destroy the armory, and continue along to the main base. Nothing has changed, and Monkuki has basically lost this game. Not much more needs to be said on that one. A couple answers being built up, but the factory is down, and everything else is going down. I mean, Lancer is the only real hope, and honestly, there's too many units that are coming in for that to do any good. So, Severny Pony has this game, has Gate Tech actually. Monkuki, however, trying. Looks like trying once again to send back some units, sending back a Lancer as well to help out. But even with that Lancer, it's not going to be sufficient. There really is nothing that Monkuki can do at this point. Just this map does not provide enough options for that, unfortunately. So Monkuki has basically lost the game. And that's about it, really. And that's game. But back with another one in just a couple minutes. Which will also, it'll still be Monkuki Night tonight. Monkuki uploaded a bunch of replays, and no one else has. So we're doing Monkuki Night. Where all the games have Monkuki in them. 
And this one was a bit of a suspicious, an auspicious start, but you know what? We'll see how he does in other games. So, be back with that in just a moment. Stay tuned, everyone.